Hey Real Classroom students, thanks for watching today. I'm coming to you today talking to you about having a happy Pride Month and how to display your diversity in your business so that it helps you with your business. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss it. Hey, before we get started, make sure you click the like button, make sure you click the subscribe button, leave some comments below. What kind of content are you looking for? What kind of things are you struggling with in your business and your brokerage? So today's a little bit different. If you can't tell, I'm outside in Colorado here with my puppy. And I just want to wish you guys a happy Pride Month. You may or may not know, but I am an out and proud lesbian and I'm advertising that on my real estate brokerage websites my channels, my YouTube, everything. You can go check those channels out below if you wanna see how I'm doing that in a way that is professional and welcoming at the same time and keeping myself safe. I wanna to talk to you today about how you can do it in your business and why you should do it in your business. So, you know, if I'm coming to your market area from another place and I know that I have been discriminated against, I've felt unsafe in pretty much my whole life, when I'm going to look for a new house, uh, even a new investment property or commercial property, I want to know that the agent that I'm working with is open, affirming, inclusive, and safe for somebody like me. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, it doesn't matter. Why should it matter if, if you're gay and, and I'm not okay with it? Well, it matters because growing up and even recently, I've been threatened, you know, physically because of who I am. And so if I'm coming to a new area and I want to be a part of the community and I want to feel safe and included and welcomed, it all starts with that realtor. You know that, guys. You know that anytime anybody calls you to find a house, you're not just their house person. They're calling you to say, where's the best bars to go drink? Where do I go buy the best furniture? Where do I go for the best hamburger in town? Like you're a constant resource. If you're in a relationship driven business and you're not purely transactional, you're the go-to resource. Sometimes you're the only person that the customer knows when they move to that area. So it's really important for you to dig deep, figure out if this is something that's important to you and start advertising it on all your social media and on your website. And do it in a way that is legal for your state because you know we're not allowed to discriminate against any protected class. And you know, in your state, the LGBTQ community might not be a protected class. Right now, we're not federally protected from being discriminated against in housing. So in the state of Colorado, we are. And I think it's um, really, maybe a dozen other states. So if I'm gay and I'm moving to a state where I'm not protected, it's even scarier because someone could blatantly discriminate against me and tell me they're not gonna sell me that house over there because I am who I am. So if this is something that's important to you and you wanna help celebrate pride and you wanna make a difference in your community and you wanna welcome people and have a diverse business and and welcome people from all walks of life, then try to reach out, try to put that in your marketing, go on to Canva, go on to Shutterstock, find pictures of diverse people and start putting them out there and, and start being very blatant and open about how open and affirming and diverse you are. I know that there are a couple of certifications that you could get um, as well. Uh, and I've done those and they're good, but honestly, I think if you have an open heart and an open mind and you want to communicate that in any way that you can, that's all you need to do. People are going to know when they walk into your office or when they meet you at that house, whether you're a kind hearted person or whether you're someone that's discriminatory. So I think that this also goes along for any other minority population, because even though we're not supposed to discriminate, legally and ethically, we all know that it's happening. You can look at some of my other videos. We all know that there's a bunch of racist realtors out there. There's a bunch of homophobic realtors out there. And if you're not one of them, then you need to tell people if you want to attract all types of people into your business and to actually help them. So 
that's all I have for you today. It's Pride Month. You get a chance to make a difference in your business and your community. You get a chance to reach out to people that might be similar to you or different from you. And this is how you do it. It's a simple switch of your marketing. It's a simple switch of your messaging. And you know, don't be a secret agent about it because if somebody like me is coming to your area and I have to dig through your website to see like that one little tiny sentence that says you're okay with it, I don't know, that's a little hard for me, you know? So anyways, uh, that's all I have for you today. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear what you're struggling with. If you want a great lead generation class, I've told you about this a million times before, it's a free class, Recession Proof Your Income, Module 3, has my secrets to success on how I have tapped into the luxury market and how I have a sustainable business that I never run out of leads and they are luxury leads. So stop paying all the money to all the people for all the things that you don't wanna do. Take a minute, go check out my classes, go check out the free stuff, go check out the business planning one, go check out the brokerage in a box, it's not that much money for the rewards that you're going to get financially and personally with your health and your well-being. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Happy Pride.